I'm thrilled to be back with the uh, people of the great state of New Hampshire. From the cold in New England to this presidential race that's heating up in New Hampshire, Republican candidates making their case to voters a week before the nation's first primary. Former President Donald Trump is hoping that his rally tonight motivates his supporters and undecided voters. WBZ's Chris Tanaka is with us in studio tracking the candidates in the Granite State. Chris? Yeah, interesting message from the former president coming off his blowout win in Iowa. Donald Trump is in the driver's seat and on favorable ground. New Hampshire gave him his first win of the 2016 Republican primaries, a result he's looking to repeat a week from tonight. As you know, last night we had a record-setting evening in Iowa. The former president speaking to ardent supporters who braved the weather in Atkinson today. It's time for the Republican Party, however, to unify, come together, and move forward as one team. WBC political analyst John Keller says, don't be surprised if there is a carryover effect from the heartland to New England. It wouldn't surprise me at all if the big night for Trump in Iowa translates into a big night in New Hampshire. But while some polls show Trump with a commanding lead in the Granite State, one just released today shows a dead heat between he and Nikki Haley. She campaigned in ski country at Bretton Woods with a decidedly more pointed attack. But rightly or wrongly, chaos follows him. Keller says Haley doesn't need to win to win. It's a big success for Nikki Haley if she comes within single digits or even somewhere on the cusp of that. Ron DeSantis, who's drawing only single digits in New Hampshire polling, took part in a town hall tonight in Henniker, still trying to flank Trump to the right. I represent the fulfillment of a lot of what we want to do. Honestly, a lot of what Donald Trump promised to do uh, but didn't deliver. DeSantis was the only candidate who agreed to a debate in New Hampshire ahead of the primary, so now the whole thing's been canceled. Trump said no, and Haley said she'd only do it if Trump did. David? Can't have a one-person debate. We know that. Chris, thank you.